so you are scanning a target to know some details about it, but when you scan the server, the server knows some details about you as well, such as your public IP address. That's why you need to use proxy chains to anonymize your traffic. And in this video, we will set it up using Tor. Let's first understand what proxies are before setting up proxy chains. If we scan the server directly, it will expose our public IP to the server which we do not want to. Instead, we will use a proxy server in between. So now if the server flags our scan, the server will see the IP address of the proxy server, not ours. Now if you think you are safe, you are wrong. The server owner can contact the police about the unauthorized attempt because the server saves logs, and those logs contain details about you, and you are busted. Yes, you can use multiple proxies instead of one, which you can find many free proxies available online but may not be trustworthy. That's why we will be using Tor with proxy chains. Now let's start configuring the proxy chains according to our needs. Let's install Tor first. Open the proxy chains configuration file. There are four modes, but for this tutorial it doesn't matter which one you use because we will be having only one IP address. Configuring for specific mode will be a topic for another time. Make sure proxy DNS is uncommented because this will prevent DNS leak. In case you are using list of proxies, you can add them here. The example is provided above. Add SOX5 proxy with same IP and port as well, because SOX5 is a bit better. Now save and exit the file. We have already installed Tor. So now let's start the Tor service. Now our Tor service is running. To start the proxy chains, type the command proxy chains first and then follow it up with anything you'd like to do. For example, if I want to start Firefox with proxy chains, I will type the command proxy chains and then follow it up with Firefox. Now let's go to dnsleaktest.com to verify our connection. I can verify that the connection is successful since this is not my IP. And now we can use proxy chains for example with nmap or anything you'd like to. That's it for today's tutorial. Follow for more. Thanks.